Good afternoon. Again, I'm Karen Freeman Wilson, and I'm the president and CEO of the Chicago Urban League. I hope that you have been as inspired as I have by what we have heard thus far. Whether the discussion has been about the impact of the dual pandemics on Black businesses, or whether we are thinking forward to the day when reparations won't just be something unusual. This has been a good discussion, but not just a discussion for discussion's sake, but a discussion that has been oriented towards action. And we've heard about those actions in the Youth Summit, in the Impact Summit, and in the Woke Summit that will continue into the afternoon and end with a pitch session. We've heard about it also in the job fair, and we hope that somebody more than one body, but many bodies have gone to look at employment opportunities. We wanted you to see something that is really special for us today. And that is our new production space right here at the Chicago Urban League. Thanks to our partners at EY, we now have our very own wave space. Look at it. I'm excited. This is my first time in it. And it is special. And so thank you, EY, particularly our board member, David Nichols, for making this happen in the urban league. Because what it allows us to do is to provide more training, more programming, but it also allows us to offer this space to the community. And what a wonderful space it is. And I'll be honest, as someone who has been entrusted by the board for looking at the bottom line, this also keeps us for having to rent spaces on days like this. And so we hope that you will look at this as a community resource because this space is not just our space to selfishly use for our own purposes, but it is a space that we will make available to the community. Because where we begin and end and where we have begun and ended for the last 105 years, going into our 105th year, is right here in the community at 4510 South Michigan. As we think about what our roles are in what we all know to be an incredibly important time in our city and in our country, I want to challenge you to think about your individual role and then your role in your business or in your employment. I want you to think about your role in your community organization. And the question I want you to ask and answer is the question that I've been asking and answering in a variety of ways throughout the last year as we've made presentations to many, many entities. What are you doing? 
to reduce the racial wealth gap. What is your role in pushing back against this mantle institutional racism? And if that answer is, I don't know, don't worry, because you have time to figure it out. But the challenge that I would make to you is whether you think you're directly impacted by it or not, or whether you work in a role that confronts or addresses these issues every day or not, the only way that we will see equity for everyone is that if every one of us understands that we have a part to play. There are three songs that I like. It just depends on which day of the week uh, about whether I like the song, which song I like the most. And it all deals with the same thing. It says, I'm coming out. Now, some of you all remember Diana Ross. And then others of you remember the remix that Diddy and Faith and everybody did. And then those of you who are lovers of gospel music like I am, remember Dorinda Clark Cole's song, I'm Coming Out With My Hands Up. But the theme is the same. I think it's so appropriate as we prepare to open up as a community. I'm coming out with my hands up. And it's a symbol of celebration. And certainly after having been over the last year and a half shut in because of the pandemic, it's a wholly appropriate thing. But the important part for us as a community that is leading to equity is that the only way that we can all come out of this pandemic better transformed, ready to take on the world, is if we are intentional in making our recovery something that is enjoyed by each and every citizen of this community. And what I will assure you of is that the Chicago Urban League is committed now more than ever to making that happen for Black Chicago. Thank you, and let's get on to the second half.